it's just so exciting to see so many years of work come together and we're just happy that, that everything went so well. Welcome to Jupiter. It performed so perfectly. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. Jupiter is like a time capsule for the entire solar system. By being able to study Jupiter, we can tell the story of where we came from. Juno has taken five years to get to Jupiter. That sounds like a long time, but the spacecraft has traveled over 1.75 billion miles since it left Earth. It's uh, pretty exciting to know that it's, it's traveled so far and it's just really at the beginning of its mission. So here you can see NASA's Deep Space Network, which is how we communicate with the spacecraft. It takes 48 minutes for a signal to travel from Earth at the speed of light and get to Juno. This is the culmination of a tremendous amount of work. It takes hundreds of people to make a mission like Juno successful. And it's just so exciting to, to even have a, a part in that. love this drive. You can see the Hogback Mountains there. It's just really beautiful. When I was maybe 10 years old, my dad gave me one of those transistor radio kits where you got to build your own radio. And um, he let me struggle with it for a while and, and helped me put it together. But it was, it was really exciting just to learn how electronics work and really help fuel my, my love of, of science. The overall idea of what we're doing here to bettering man's understanding of the cosmos and answering the, the fundamental questions in the universe, that's really fulfilling. Now that Juno is at Jupiter, it's finally ready to start its real mission, which is to collect all the data and to help us understand the unknown. What scientists know is that the sun formed first and then Jupiter formed second from the leftovers. And then all the other planets formed afterwards, really the leftovers of the leftovers. Scientists believe that much of the original composition of our solar system is contained within Jupiter. So by understanding the water composition, the magnetic field of Jupiter and its gravity, we'll get to have a much better understanding of how our solar system formed. And discovered that what we thought was the main house is actually a two-room dwelling, a house for lodgers that Monroe had built during his presidency.